Uh, morning. <laughs> My light's gone in the back room. My... It's been gone a while, I just haven't changed it. Lots to do today, I think. I think. I think, I think, I think I'm going to try and go to the gym. We're going to show you some food, we're going to show you my working day, we're going to go to the gym, I hope. Okay, alright, let's do it. Day number 65, I'm flipping an entry every single day. That was a good one today. Oh yes. Did you know that 99.9% .9 of the population can't do that? Camera reception, yes. Okay, okay. Yep, yep. So before I go to the gym, I haven't actually eaten today, so I'm going to get something in me. I got a caramel frappe. Two things that I never used to like that I have ventured out into in later life, since being a grown adult, is coffee and sushi. So this is gonna be my breakfast, lunch, dinner, pre-workout meal, or whatever you wanna call it. And I, I am very, very, very excited about it. I don't like these crispy onion things. They're horrific. However, this sauce that comes on this like Tesco meal here, it's a crispy, chicken and duck roll thing, right? I don't like, I know this sounds stupid because it's sushi. I don't like fishy sushi. I like chicken and duck and things like that. So I'll put a bit of this on each one. It's gonna be a bit of a weird taste test combo with my um, salted caramel frappe, but cheers. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Lovely stuff. I'll wait for you. But if you can't find the time Then God be Oh God Oh yes I don't have Oh this is a good video This is a really 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 good video Oh yes Right so if you guys um remember last when are you going to see this you're going to see this on wednesday so last sunday there was a WNBF show i went and filmed for christian and he had three clients in the show um one of whom was luke who was a really good friend of mine you saw luke on the channel like a week ago like last sunday or whenever it was that day went really really well it was a really good really wholesome day and i am currently editing the, the show day video um for well, for Christian. And then I've got some stuff for Luke to do. I've got, got, there's loads of stuff still to come from that day. So stay tuned on basically everyone that was there. Stay tuned on all of their socials over the next, like, week. Because, oh, phenomenal. Absolute scenes. And I've had so much fun editing this video to the point where I've sat here for the past four hours, not moved from this spot. Instead of going to the gym, I've just immersed myself in this edit and it's insane. I freaking love it. And one thing that people ask me all the time, I hate when people say that. One thing that I get asked, a client recently asked me or a subscriber recently asked me, like, no, like genuinely, this is probably the most asked question that I get, right? Why do I do it to myself? And some of you will be thinking, do what to yourself? Like, put it this way. My business right now is somewhat overwhelming right with the, with my own commitments obviously i'm a my protein athlete contracted my protein athlete i have my deliverables to do for them right i have my own social media kind of commitments on top of that i then have essentially what is way more hours than a full-time job basically building a business right of, of content creation if people like my content they come to me for to be a videographer for the day or to film their show day or to film whatever it is that they want to film showcase their product or their service or anything like that right people come to me if they like my content generally speaking people then say to me if i can live off of my own stuff then why do i why do i how can i put it 
put the stress on myself of doing other people's content as well. Like, why do I do that to myself? And I do ask myself that question sometimes. However, today is just one of those days that proves to me exactly why I do my business as well, the media business, as well as my stuff. Yes, because I can live off of my own stuff, you know, but I'm also very aware of the fact that you can only do my job, if you like, as a my protein athlete for X amount of time. You, you have a lifespan. It's like being a freaking footballer or a rugby player. You know, you get to like 30 and then they're like, you know, or something like that. You, you have a lifespan. So I need to build something, number one, that surpasses that lifespan, if you like. So I have plans over the next few years to kind of scale my own media business in a sense of, well, I'll keep that to myself for, for now. But why do I do it to myself? Because at the end of the day, it's quite, it can be quite stressful, right? I, I take on a lot. I take on at times a bit too much. I, I am guilty of doing that. I, am, I have been known to do that a fair bit over the years and it's mistakes that I've made along the way that have cost me somewhat, you know, um, taking on too much. Um, so why do I do it to myself when days like today prove it? I fucking love making videos. I fucking love it. Nothing beats me sitting here to a song that I love, like this one, editing a day that someone is gonna have to look back on forever, right? When you think back to my own videos, why did I start? I started because I'm obsessed. Anyone that's been subscribed to me for a while knows that I'm obsessed, in a weird way, with making memories, remembering everything, filming everything. I've always taken photos, I've always taken pictures, always taken videos, everywhere I go. And it, I was that annoying kid on holiday. Like, as if, let's say my family went to center parts as a kid. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me just take this picture. Like, and I was there with like, either with a phone or like my, I had a camera at the time, you know? And I would just take these photos and it's just always what I've done. I've always been obsessed with capturing that kind of feeling, that emotion and, and having it, you know, just as a thing. To remember and obviously because of social media now you, you you put half of it out there or i put more than half half of it out there i put the majority of it out there but why do i do it to myself is because i fucking love editing videos and yes sometimes i take on too much and it's 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 mistakes that you you kind of make you don't all the time necessarily have someone sat by your side like saying right liam if you take on another shoot on thursday you're going to really struggle to edit that thing that you filmed on tuesday or something you know having and computing all of these things is sometimes just what i get wrong in terms of i don't know how to say it because it's a time management thing but it's also like a it's an underestimate on my part of how long things will take like i've done four hours worth of editing on two minutes of this video sort of thing it's kind of like <laughs> you know, that's kind of like, I love that, but that is also difficult to anticipate. Like I, I always like to compare it to my old man, right? He fits kitchens, bedrooms, bathrooms, stuff like that, right? It's almost like him getting a delivery of some wardrobe doors, but that wardrobe doors, those wardrobe doors come in the afternoon rather than the morning, you know? He can't predict that, although he might have paid for a morning delivery, it might arrive at 2 p.m. and that fucks his day, right? This might take four hours instead of four minutes, in my case, unpredictably so. I know it's not exactly the same, that's a rubbish example, but you know what I'm trying to say, like, why do I take on so much? Because I fucking love it. I'm obsessed with, I, like, I love in my own head that Christian, Luke, and everyone else that was there is gonna have this video to look back on for the rest of their lives, and I've made it, and I love that. You know, I fucking love that. You get so many people that are in this game, in this whole social media malarkey for the wrong reasons. And I do back myself when I say I'm one of the only people that genuinely, genuinely loves just creating shit for the memories, creating shit for the love of creating it. People want money, they see the opportunity and, and they go and they run for it, fair play. Chances are you'll probably do better than me because of that. But I love this shit. And that is the bottom line. I'd argue that there's not many more that do love it as much as me. If you can find the time to give your love to me. Oh, it's phenomenal. I fucking love Chase the State as well. Anyway, so I'm not going to the gym now um, because I fucked it. I spent my entire day doing this. I need to get myself some dinner now and then <laughs> do a little bit more work. Ah! Because that took four hours instead of four minutes. But 
It gave me a good video title, I suppose. Mm. Uh, can you hear that? I don't know if you guys will be able to hear that. There's four quad bikes that have just gone round, like the roundabout and down the road and stuff, right? I have no clue who they are, but they just roam around Birmingham, these four lads. Snutters. Anyway, also low-key annoying, but anyway, have their fun if it's road legal. So I've had a minute to kind of digest um, that rant that I just went on. And thank you if you're still watching. And like the video if you have not already. I, I appreciate you being here genuinely. Guys, kicking out for outside when I need to record. The bottom line is of what I'm trying to say is I back myself when it comes to me saying there aren't many people out there anywhere that love creating content as much as I do <laughs> because to pump out the sheer volume that I pump out my own two videos a week, at least two videos a week at the minute for Christian and God knows what else for whoever else that comes my way, you know. That's a lot, five, six, I did 12 TikToks yesterday, just in one day. You know, it's like you have to love creating content to be able to pump out that amount of, of, of content. And I back myself, when you work with me, I will bust a nut to make sure that that video is amazing, to get absolutely everything that we need for you to remember that day, that experience, whatever it is, I'm talking show day experiences because that's obviously what's in my head, but like I will bust a nut if you trust me to create the content for you, I will do absolutely everything in my power to make sure that that is perfect. And you won't get many people, <laughs> I'm gonna bring price into it, many people at that price point as well that will put as much effort in as I do. You won't find it elsewhere, you, you won't. And I back myself when it comes to saying that, you know, I back myself. You can give a really good camera to just about anyone and they can make something pretty good you know but it's the thoughts and the feelings and the emotions that I am obsessed with remembering for myself I can then translate that into anyone else's content as well and I pride myself on being able to do that whether it's a business a service a person or just a family meal you know that I want to remember how I felt when that meal came out when I smelt it when I tasted it you know it sounds weird I know but that is how my brain works and I love it and it is that weirdness that makes me good at my job whether it's my stuff or someone else's. It is that weirdness. You have to be, you have to be a bit tapped. <laughs> you have to be a bit weird to do this whole social media thing. You just do. You, you just do. But I back myself. I love this more than most, you know. And you should back yourself when it comes to something that you truly love and something you truly believe in, you know. I want to thank you all so much for watching. I don't know what I'm going to call this video. I don't know how I wound up going on some 12 minute rant. If you're still here, drop a like. I appreciate you all. Let me know in the comments if you are still here right now. And you wouldn't normally take the time to comment, please take the time to comment today. Let me know if you made it to the end of this, this rant, you know. But thank you all so much for watching. Together we will grow. And I will see you in the next one. Fired up, man. Fuck.